really cool story for you today that has to do with the celebration. We have lots of celebrations in life, like birthdays, that remind us of what's important. We have holidays that help us remember things God has done, like Christmas and Easter. There's another very special celebration that happens in churches all over the world, and it's called Communion. Communion is a super cool way for us to celebrate what Jesus has done for us. It helps us remember how thankful we are to Him. And that's not all. There's so much more to the story of communion that we can discover in the Old Testament in the Bible. You see, the night before Jesus died on the cross, he and his closest friends ate a special dinner called the Passover meal. Hmm, well, you might be wondering right now, what's a Passover meal? Well, that's a great question. God's people, the Israelites, had been celebrating Passover for a long time. It all began in Egypt, where the Israelites were forced to work as slaves for hundreds of years. God sent Moses to stand up to Pharaoh, who was like the king, to demand freedom for the Israelites. But over and over, Pharaoh promised to let God's people go, but then every time he would change his mind. And each time, God sent a plague, a terrible warning, so that Pharaoh would release the Israelites. But Pharaoh just wouldn't listen. Ugh. The tenth plague was the most terrible of all. The oldest son in every family would die. But God made a way to save the sons of the Israelites. Each family was told to kill a lamb and put some of the blood on the top and the sides of the door frame of their house. That way, the plague would pass over them. That night after the terrible plague, Pharaoh finally ordered the Israelites to leave. They packed up so quickly, they didn't have time for their bread to rise. So they baked flat bread, and God led them out of Egypt by Moses to freedom. Wow, amazing. God told his people to celebrate the Passover to remember what he had done for them. And this is what he said. Always remember this day. You and your children after you must celebrate this day as a feast to honor the Lord. As God instructed, the Israelites made a habit of celebrating Passover with a meal that included lamb and flat bread, like the bread they'd taken on their journey out of Egypt. Now, let's fast forward many, many, many years to when Jesus was on earth. Jesus himself grew up celebrating the Passover every single year. But when he shared the Passover with his friends the night before he died, Jesus did something different. He changed the Passover meal. The Apostle Paul wrote about that evening years later in his letter to the Corinthians. On the night the Lord Jesus was handed over to his enemies, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it. He said, this is my body. It is given to you. Every time you eat it, do it in memory of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. He said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Every time you drink it, do it in memory of me. You eat the bread and drink the cup. And when you do this, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. The bread of communion is a reminder of how Jesus died on the cross for us. The drink is a reminder of how Jesus allowed his own blood to be spilled so that we could live. Jesus was setting up a new celebration for the people who would follow him. He wanted them to see how he had come to be the savior of the whole world. As we eat the bread and drink the juice, we remember what Jesus has done for us. We remember that God has made it possible for everyone to be rescued from sin and death because Jesus lived, died, and then came alive again. We celebrate communion as a way to share our gratitude for Jesus. We need to find those kind of reminders every day that'll help us remember to be thankful to God and to other people. And that's our bottom line. Say it with me. Get in the habit of being grateful. We have the biggest reason ever to be grateful because of all that Jesus has done for us. Jesus gave his life for us. He made it possible for us to have a close relationship with God that will last forever. And that's something we should remember often and be thankful for. And communion is a way for us to do just that. And there are other great ways we can do that too. You can make a habit of praying and talking to God and thanking him for all the good things in your life. Or you can pray to him before a meal, or you can pray to him before you go to sleep at night. 
Those are all great ways to get in the habit of being grateful. And we can be thankful to the people around us as well, or like when someone gives you a gift, yay, thank you, or they do something nice for you and you say thank you. So get out there and practice getting in the habit of being grateful. Bye, friends.